dear learners on behalf of department of mechanical engineering and center for educational technology i invite you to join for this course advanced thermodynamics and combustion this course is a national initiative and it is being delivered in nptel platform and it's it is a online MOOCs course which will benefit the large set of audience and I believe that all of you will gain this importance of this course in your course curriculum and professional activity. Myself Professor Niranjan Sahu, I am affiliated to this department of mechanical engineering for last 17 years. I will be taking this course advanced thermodynamics and combustions for which this is the introduction video. So, this course advanced and thermodynamics and combustions this uh, is mainly intended for postgraduate scholars. I believe that all the postgraduate scholars they would have undergone uh, these their UG courses or UG course curriculum either in the field of mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering or energy engineering at any corners of this country on and also across this globe. On this outset, I can say that uh, those who belong to fluid and thermal specialization, aerodynamics and propulsion, propulsion specialization, they will be mainly intended audience for this course. Now, apart from this, we can have the uh, scientists, engineers from this industry or any public sector organizations and which, which they can use uh, in, their, in their day to day life for various um, activities in the real time problems. They can also get benefit from this course in the line of theory and modeling. So, this particular course does not require any prerequisite. By prerequisite, I mean that we do not require any certain um, specific courses that need to be learnt to take uh, this particular course in the uh, as a credit. But however, it is believed that all the audience when they have covered their UG course curriculum, they must have undergone the basic thermodynamic course at their UG level. So, I think this particular course would be sufficient to gain all the knowledge that is being delivered in this course advanced thermodynamics and combustions. Of course, the duration of this course will be 12 weeks and it will contain about 30 to 35 lectures and this course pat pattern is also modular problem solving nature and also there will be some tutorial sessions and live sessions as well. So, let me give you the brief course outline. As I mentioned earlier, the course advanced thermodynamics and combustion is modular in nature. In total, there will be 8 modules. So, I will just read out the uh, um, all the 8 modules. First module is about review of basic thermodynamics. In fact, this is the brush of contents that whatever we have discussed at the UG level in the basic thermodynamics course. Module 2 will be entropy and exergy. In fact, I will emphasize here that at the time of taking basic course on uh, thermodynamics, uh, the topics like entropy and exergy was given as an introductory remark. But however, uh, uh, mainly research scholars, all the research scholars, those who are using this IC engines as their, as their main theme of the research, they have some additional advantage that normally they do entropy and exergy analysis during the, uh, the to meet their research objectives. So, in this backdrop module 2 is a very vital concept that will talk about entropy and exergy. So, in fact, the word entropy comes is derived from the second law of thermodynamics, exergy also is derived from the sec second law of thermodynamics. And uh, in at UG levels both the terms were um, discussed at a very introductory remark 
And here we are going to emphasize the analysis of entropy and exergy in various research problems. Also, we will give the uh, um, thermodynamic background where it has started and also we will I will also cover the modeling and analysis part my mean entropy analysis, exergy analysis for various thermodynamic systems. So, in particular we will discuss about closed systems, control volume analysis, entropy principle, exergy, uh, exergy principle, exergy destructions. Uh, um, so, uh, all these things will be followed in this module. The next module that is module 3 will discuss about thermodynamic property relations. Uh, so in fact, uh, at UG level you might have come through the uh, topic like properties of pure substance, where the thermodynamic properties are represented on a PV pressure volume specific volume and temperature surface. Either we call this as a PV plane or in a phase diagram that is pressure temperature plots, where we locate the characteristic curves like constant pressure line, constant volume line, uh, constant entropy line, uh, constant enthalpy line all these things. But uh, when you draw this we really do not really bother how this lines comes up. So, what is the what is the mathematical need for this I mean how these lines come up and what is the uh, fundamental uh, theory behind this. So, to do that we have here we will introduce the thermodynamic property relations that will essentially talk about the mathematical analysis of thermodynamic properties. So, here we will bring mathematics into each picture and also we will bring some kind of uh, we will bring thermodynamics concept into pictures. So, how uh, the blending between these two will come across as uh, different property relations, where some of the relations I can say Maxwell relations, Clausius equations, Clausius Clapeyron equation and so on. So, this is all about the module 3. Then moving for the module 4, the where we will talk about the properties of gas mixtures. So, ideally we deal with the gas as an ideal gas and uh, in fact air is an ideal gas, but uh, it is composed of various components like nitrogen, oxygen and uh, if you want to do the component analysis, how what is the uh, procedure that we are going to follow. And when uh, while dealing with the gas mixtures, uh, the role of combined mixture or the properties of combined uh, um, gas mixture will be of course, different from the individual contents. So, how you want to quantify them, what are the different properties we are going to discuss all these things will be studied in the properties of gas mixers. Then uh, moving to the module 5 that is combustion and thermo thermochemistry, as I mentioned that uh, the title of this course is advanced thermodynamics and combustions. So, this combustion word drops in here from the module 5 where we will uh, discuss about the uh, any with the about the combustion phenomena, its terminology, how thermodynamics comes into picture uh, during a combustion process. So, this is the uh, essential uh, focus for this module that is combustion and thermochemistry. Then we will move on to the uh, um, reactions where we it is involved that we have chemical reactions chemical reaction I mean that means for example, when a combustion takes place we need a fuel, we need air and the chemical reaction takes place and the analysis of this chemical reactions is built in module 6 and 7 where we will discuss about the chemical kinetics and various reactive systems. Then the last part of this module that is module 8 will be uh, discussed on introduction to combustion and flames. Of course, the combustion is a very vast topic and it is combustion is initiated through the formation of the flame. The flame could be a laminar flame, the flame could be a turbulent flame, that flame could be the cause of uh, a premixed flame or it is a diffusion flame. So, all these things will come uh, in this last module where we will discuss about, uh, we will introduce the concept of combustion with respect to flame analysis, flame speed and all these things and characteristics of the flame. 
Now moving to uh, module by module, so first module is review of basic concepts of thermodynamics. In fact, this particular module will be a brush up or the basic background whatever we have covered in the UG level. But here the emphasis will be given with some advanced topics uh, and the treatment of this module will be little bit different as the way we proceed in the UG course curriculum. Uh, so, uh, to give this some of the remarks, I can say we will talk about temperature and zeroth law of thermodynamics, where we will discuss about the thermometer, its analysis, how it is related with, how it is helpful for you know, measuring the temperatures. Then by coming to the uh, nature of uh, energy transfer, either work or heat and the first law of thermodynamics gives the energy auditing. That means, uh, the conservation of energy principle um, that is equalization of work and heat interactions for a closed systems and also we can have a for a control volume. Then moving for the, uh, uh, the second law analysis where it is mainly intended for heat engines, refrigerators, heat pumps and here will uh, an another concept drops in is that Calvin Planck statements and Clausius statements. Of course, most of the contents are repeated in nature, but uh, here while addressing this module, we will, we will feel that as if a different approach is followed while covering these contents. As I mentioned uh, in our earlier UG course, entropy and exergy was given as a introductory remarks and here in this advanced thermodynamics course, we will give you a elaborate analysis about entropy and exergy, where one thing I need to emphasize here that while talking the second law of thermodynamics or second law analysis, we debate on the terms like reversibility and irreversibility. Now, entropy is a property which can or and exergy, entropy and exergy both are thermodynamic properties and they can be useful either in a reversible process or in a irreversible process. Now, if you want to use this term or if you want to audit this term for a reversible process or irreversible process, how we should proceed. So, this is the first two um, points like Clausius theorem, second law analysis which we which we will be using for reversibility pro, reversible process and an irreversible process. Then it will be followed with entropy balance, entropy principle that is one part, isentropic process and its applications for various internal reversible process. So, this is all about entropy analysis and similar concept if you can use it for exergy, where we will discuss some fundamental concepts because one thing I need to say that energy is a conserved properties where, where exergy is not a conserved property, it is a non conserved properties. So, emphasis will be given that how exergy balance can be made, first one. Second thing, what is the concept of exergy destruction? So, these things we will be covering in this particular model. And of course, towards the end we will talk about exergy analysis for closed systems, control volumes uh, and you, we are going to introduce the second law efficiency. Now, coming back to module 3 which is thermodynamic property relations, here we will introduce uh, the concept of exact differential. As I mentioned earlier, it is a blending between the concept of mathematics and applying it to thermodynamic uh, properties. So, there through this process we will derive various relations, property relations, thermodynamic functions and such as Maxwell relations, uh, Clausius equations, clausius clapeyron equations and uh, of course, they can be applied for different processes like one can well for example, Clausius equation and clausius clapeyron equation will be useful for phase change process. And again, this phase change process uh, when you use this equations in a very practical applications, we will introduce a term called as Joule-Thomson Joule coefficients and its application to liquefaction of gases. For example, we all know that 
when the gases are stored many times it is stored in a liquid form. So, uh, this particular concept of joule thompson coefficient will help us in the analysis of the space change process through this uh, uh, Clausius Clapeyron equations to build the fundamentals of liquid liquefaction of gases. And of course, uh, we will deal with the single phase systems involving thermodynamic functions and fundamental relations for uh, various thermodynamic processes. So, basically we will be discussing single phase systems and a phase change systems. Then we will move to the uh, next module that is property 4, where we will deal with the properties of gas mixtures. And this gas mixture uh, when you deal with we will talk about ideal and real gases, equation of state, compressible factor. Uh, these gas mixtures can be a single component system or a multiple multi component systems. The uh, for all these component systems we can build the thermodynamic models. And towards the end we will discuss about the mixing analysis of thermodynamic systems. Then moving to the next module. In this module, we will bring uh, the combustion part into this topic and this is the, the based on that we will call this module as thermodyne, combustion and thermochemistry, where we will uh, discuss about basic terminologies of combustion such as stoichiometry, equivalence ratio. Uh, in fact, mo, you must be aware of these terms while dealing with the IC engine course. Of course, we have terms like enthalpy of formation, setting value, enthalpy of combustion and adiabatic flame temperatures. Then we will try to bring thermodynamics into combustion through first, first law and second law analysis of combustion models. Another important segment of this um, thermodynamic combustion is that fixed law of diffusion and chemical equilibrium. Now, once you have the basic introductory remarks on combustion, then we will move to the next segment that is uh, when a reaction takes place, the, the process uh, whether the reaction proceed in a particular direction or the reaction is reversible in nature. So, all these things is depends on the chemical kinetics of the combustion models. So, here we will uh, introduce the equations like Arrhenius equations reaction rate coefficients, equilibrium constants and also we will deal with the uh, chemical reactions, heat of reactions and uh, with these things we will try to see some reaction mechanisms that is unimolecular and chain reactions and chemical time scales. Till this point of time we will know, we have no, we have, we know that that is a time scale when there is a uh, that involves when there is a change of velocity, acceleration and so on and in a chemical time scale which means that the what rate the reaction takes place or what is the reaction time whether it is a very instantaneous or it takes some time or there is a time lag. So, all these things will be quantified through this reaction mechanisms. The our seventh module is on thermodynamics of reaction systems as I mentioned the when a reaction takes place uh, there is some situation that reaction may be stable may be stable may be unstable or we can achieve a chemical equilibrium. So, all these things uh, uh, to, to quantify all these things we need a function what we call as a Gibbs functions. In fact, this Gibbs function was introduced in the earlier modules when you derive the thermodynamic property relations and application of this Gibbs functions is in the area of combustion. Apart from this we will introduce some uh, other topics like chemical potential, fugacity, Nernst equations, affinity and we will also deal with the chemical and thermal analysis for some reacting systems. And the last segment uh, that is module 8 will be on mainly on combustion and flames. In fact, this combustion can be possible either in a premixed form or a diffusion form. By premixed form we mean that air and fuel are mixed together and they enter into the combustion medium. But in a diffusion situations air and fuel they come separately 
and they enter into the combustion mediums. Now, the process could be a laminar situations that means, the combustion process may be laminar or it may be turbulence. So, analysis would be different. Now, when the combustion is initiated, it is viewed as a formation of a flame at the instant when the combustion takes place and this flame propagates at certain speed. So, based on the speed and in some situations there is a intentional turbulence which is introduced in the medium. So, that fuel and air mix, mixing takes place in a sufficient manner and entire idea is that at any point of situations we expect that fuel all the fuel should be burnt completely. To ensure all these things intentionally the medium is made in turbulent such that we make, we make a turbulent flame and this analysis also is very vital. Now, apart from that there are concept like droplet evaporation and burning. You might be aware that when uh, in IC engine when a diesel engines normally is fuel is injected into the uh, combustion chamber. So, during the fuel injection the fuel forms comes as a very droplets and subsequently they evaporate. Why they evaporate? Because they see very high temperature in the combustion domain and they evaporate and starts burning. So, the initiation of droplet formation till the till burning uh, it can be modeled. So, that part will be analyzed we call this as a droplet evaporation and burning. Now, apart from uh, these things these are all the basics of combustion, but where you are going to apply to, to we all know that uh, the very basic fundamental things that we apply combustion is in engines and we have spark ignition engines, compression ignition engines and where either we use a laminar uh, either use a pre mixed flame or a uh, pre mixed uh, fuel air air are pre mixed or uh, they come as a come separately. So, the and of course, apart from the engines we will also introduce the uh, combustion in gas turbine engines and in fact, when you talk about gas turbine engines this here entire idea is that the combustion needs to be very faster because these gas turbines are normally used for aircrafts missiles or space shuttles some of the things and and all the engines you and here intentional turbulence is inter introduced. So, that mixing is uh, very fast and where the chemical time scale also comes into picture. So, some of the introduction uh, to gas turbine combustions will be also delivered in this module. And at the end we all know that in today's scenario pollutants are the major concerns mainly for uh, engines and to quanti and what we need is that all the fuel needs to be combusted there should be not be any unwanted products unwanted combustions or unwanted fuels and we normally do not encourage to have NOx emissions, CO emissions and uh, hydrocarbon emissions. To suppress this there are certain mechanisms that are applied during this combustion process. And here we will give some introduction that how if at all the pollutants comes out after the combustion then how we are going to quantify this. So, we call this as a pollutant emissions how we will give some introduction remarks how to quantify the pollutant emissions. So, this is all about the entire module and uh, these are the some of the references. In fact, uh, before conclude I need to emphasize that when you use this word advanced thermodynamics and combustions or oh, many PG uh, syllabus only talk about advanced thermodynamics. But our recent initiative at IIT Gohati is that uh, we revise this PG syllabus and where we bring this combustion fundamentals into this course because we feel that thermodynamics also is a very essential part in the combustion analysis. So, based on this the, the, the course is uh, reframed and various uh, recent topics are included and we also make sure and we will also make sure that uh, this course which has been discussed in modular forms has sufficient uh, 
problem solving um, approach and some tutorial sessions and which will benefit for the audience. But however, I also strongly suggest that you can go through some references like uh, fundamental books on thermodynamics, Moran, Sapiro uh, from uh, Willy. Then we have Sengels and Bowles, that is another thermodynamic, thermodynamic books from Tata Magroil. We have uh, some advanced person, uh, we have Dittman and Jimansky, which is heat and thermodynamics, it is also from Tata Magroil. And we have uh, the, for the combustion part, we have the fundamental books on SR turns and KKQO. So, these are the some of the reference books which needs to be uh, which one can refer at the time of their convenience and leisure. So, with this I conclude this introduction video. I hope you like that and it is highly appreciated that you, uh, you can go through this uh, video as well as the course content or syllabus which is appeared in the website. Accordingly, you can take a suitable uh, uh, judgment in participating this course. I believe we can feel your needs and requirements as far as your academics and or higher studies concerns. With this, thank you for your kind attention and have a good luck in your professional career. Thank you. Thank you.